The history seems like a best kept secret. It really began in 1919 after the First World War ended. The men who were with the Royal Canadian Air Force returned to Regina, but they couldn't seem to shake their love of fixing or flying airplanes. One man in particular, Roland J. Groom, got the propellers turning in the city's industry. He picked up a plane in Saskatoon and flew a letter to Regina's mayor. It was the first official air mail delivery in the province. He also started his own aerial service company. But that was just the beginning. He became the first licensed commercial pilot in Canada, and his partner became the first licensed air maintenance engineer in the country. Their plane was also the first ever registered. It was kind of a remarkable historical thing, it's kind of a historical fluke, but we have the distinction of being able to claim the first licensed commercial pilot, air maintenance engineer, first registered aircraft, and the first officially acknowledged air harbor in the entire country. Saskatchewan's many firsts didn't stop there. We had the first crew of smoke jumpers, people who jumped out of planes to fight forest fires. We also created the air ambulance, an essential service in the province. Roland J. Groom died in a plane crash in 1935, but his legacy does live on. Although some say not enough people know about our role in Canadians' aviation history. I don't. I honestly think that it's an unrecognized history that our job is to, to expand that knowledge and, and foster that education. I think it's almost a tragedy that we don't promote more of that in the school system. So why were we such trailblazers? The history buffs credit the open spaces and endless skies. Those conditions are still serving pilots in the province today. The chief flight instructor at the Regina Flying Club says the industry carries on but it is smaller than it used to be. We have quite a few students that come through the Flying Club. We're noting as of late, we've got a few less commercial students and now uh, is the time when they should be getting involved because the airlines are crying for pilots. That's because hundreds of baby boomers are gearing up for retirement. Today, there are less people involved with flight in the province, but the enthusiasts remain committed inspired by the innovators before them. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.